Hey, this is Pretty Digi Designs. This is a tutorial on how to edit a 11 by 17 trifold uh, template. Actually, you can edit this in any size of my trifolds. <clears throat> so what you can do first is open a word and either go to file and open and go to where you downloaded your <clears throat> Uh, file which mine is going to be under downloads so this one's a 11 by 17 file that I have all right so this opens up and I'll have you have to click enable edit okay I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller here so you can see kind of the <clears throat> full screen here so this is a trifold template there's these boxes when you click on it you can edit it so either click and drag and hit delete and start typing or copy and paste from whatever data you're getting from same thing here of course you can always change um, the font and size by going to your font family up here and choose whatever you want course the size as well so basically just click and drag delete and then same thing here if you want to change the title same thing start typing over it and for the photo just select the shape whether it's an oval or a box and go to format shape fill and picture and then find, go click from file and just browse to your location wherever you save the picture usually probably under downloads unless you have a folder um, you keep your pictures in and you just select it and it'll go in so here for example and I'm just going to choose one here and you can drag it to resize Make it taller or shorter or wider. Okay, so <clears throat> if you just put a picture in without uh, inserting into a shape, so for example, you wanted another picture in here and you didn't want to use the oval, you can go to insert pictures and say you wanted a, another one. All right, so see how it kind of messes, it's not moving. It's because you have to right click on it, go to wrap text, and go click in front of text. Now it's in front of all the docu the objects in the background. Now you can move it, reshape it, and move it to wherever you choose to put this picture. Okay. So, and then scroll down. So this template has another picture. Do the same thing, go to format, Shape fill, another picture, and I'll go to from a file. Okay, and same thing here, you can just change these boxes by clicking on it. If you want it kind of wider, you can do that, but I wouldn't change it too much because, because most of my templates are set up so when you print it out, it'll fold into a trifold. So, what you do when you're finished editing is print the first page and then on a piece of paper whatever files um, picture or I'm sorry whatever template size you have so for example this is 11 by 17 so you would use 11 by 17 paper and you print on that first page and then you flip it around and print page 2 and then you just fold it as a trifold and that's really it you just need one piece of paper but it has two on here because it's front and back. Okay, so if you don't have a printer that prints borderless, you're going to have a white space, for example, like this when you print it. But if you do have a printer that is um, able to print borderless, then it will look like what's on your screen. Or if you t take it to your print place, I would save this 
Matter of fact, you I would recommend saving this as a PDF anyways to print because sometimes um, Word can be a little bit um, not doesn't communicate with the printer. So I would go to File and save as PDF. Okay, and then if it was thinking, it'll save as a PDF, and you can save it wherever, name it, rename it. It's a PDF file and hit save. Now, you can take this to a print shop if you don't have 11 by 17 paper or 8.5 by 14 or whatever size you purchased. Okay, so it made a PDF for me. And um, at the print quality is actually better if you save it as a <coughs> PDF versus printing straight from Word. And that's it. Hope that was helpful. Have a great evening.